What's going on my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for Your Buck product and info. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Check this out. You know, I've been getting a lot of email lately and I want to thank you guys for sending me emails, asking me questions because that's what this is all about. It's all about sharing knowledge, sharing info that can cost, that can save you money and save you time when you install one of these beautiful engines in one of your old school cars, hot rods, trucks, what have you. All right, so the most common question that I've been getting lately is what is torque to yield and what is degree of twist? I'm glad you asked that question and I'm going to try my best to explain it. Most of the bolts on the LS engine are torqued and a lot of them are torqued to yield. So now what happens when you torque to yield a bolt is, let's say for numbers, you have a bolt that needs to be torqued at 40 foot pounds with 30 degree of twist. All right. What happens is once you torque it down to 40 foot pounds of torque, once you torque it to 40 foot pounds, you got to put a little bit more on it, which is a degree of twist. So what happens with these bolts is with the degree of twist, it will stretch the bolt. The bolt will actually stretch. That's why with these, most of the bolts on the LS, like when you do the heads or either the cam or the crank, <clears throat> it's a one shot deal. You're going to use them one time and that's it. So I'm going to explain to you the best way how you can do this and you need you could do it either one or two ways you could do it with this thing right here a degree wheel or you can step up to high tech and do it with this thing this thing is, has stood the test of time and it works this is very accurate this is quick you got to program this but when you program it it's dead on all right so we're gonna we're gonna take this one and we're gonna find a bolt i don't know something that we can torque to yield um you know what? <laughs> we'll torque to yield my my press bolt. We'll use that as a torque to yield. So come and I'll show you exactly what, what I'm talking about. Come on. Let's say we're going to use this bolt right here. One of these bolts right here. Let's say this thing was 40 foot pounds of torque with, I don't know, 30 degrees of twist. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your degree wheel, right? And you got your, your tools, you know, your, your little socket, your ratchet. You really shouldn't use extension, but you could. I mean, if you have to, you got to do what you got to, right? So for this demonstration, I'm going to use an extension. All right. And you put this like this. All right. And you put the socket on the other end. You got your little degree wheel right here. All right. Now, remember this little black piece and you got your socket on the other end. You hook it in like this on the bolt All right, that you want to have degree. Now, remember, you want to keep this up against so it doesn't move. All right. And so then that's stationary where it needs to be. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just move this dial to zero. All right. That's at zero. And then what you're going to do is here you go. Little socket goes in here. Hold on to it. All right, here we go. Now, remember, you, you don't want to you don't want to stop when you start. So just keep on going. And there you go. It's at 30 degrees of twist. Now this is the other method. This is the Eastwood torque angle wrench. Now you can do just about everything with this torque, inches, foot, and degree, which is really cool. So I'm gonna show you how to, I'm gonna demonstrate this real quick. Again, let's assume we're gonna use this bolt and it's been torqued to 40 degrees. This cause, this is, uh, you got to do a little bit of programming, which isn't hard, but you're gonna to have to, you know, program it like foot pounds of torque and what degree you want it on. We already agreed that right here, that bolt was 40 foot pounds already torqued down and we're just gonna put like 30 degrees of twist. So what's cool about this is we're gonna switch it from, from foot pounds to degree. You're gonna get four minus symbols like that, signs like that, and just put it on the bolt and let it sit there. That's going to turn to zero. It's at zero now. And then once it's at zero, just start twisting away. And when it gets to 30, you see that? And that's all it takes with this torque angle wrench from Eastwood. And that's all there is to it when it comes to torquing and degreeing and putting degree of twist on bolts. Have you more questions? How at your boy Terry? You know I'm going to answer those questions for you. But 
looking at the clock on the wall, it's time for me to head on out. So until we see each other again, please as always be easy, and I'll catch you guys a little later. Take care.